From a summer of endless forest fires to a winter plagued with the polar vortex, climate change continues to disturb planet Earth in a plethora of ways. Today we present to you yet another way climate change has set the stage for a serious health concern. Welcome to this TikTok. Ticks are small, eight-legged ectoparasites that require blood from a host to survive. They can't jump or fly, but many countries are experiencing an outbreak of ticks. From the United States to Canada, all the way to Europe, Russia, China, Japan, and even Australia. The question is, how are they doing it? Studies have shown that these ticks hitch a ride on the backs of migrating birds, which allows them to find their way into different continents. From there, local species like deer, mice, and wolves allow them to spread. So how does climate change fall into all of this? Several long-term studies done in Canada have shown that warming temperatures in northern latitudes is the main driver for the expansion, increased activity, and population of several tick species. With birds dropping off novel tick species in different regions, the warmer temperatures provide them with the perfect breeding ground to expand their population. Different ticks carry different strains of bacteria causing many debilitating diseases in humans and animals. For example, the Tega tick, commonly found in Europe, can cause tick-borne encephalitis in humans. Another species, called the Lone Star tick, can cause susceptible individuals to develop an allergy to meat. But we'll save that story for another video. This video will focus on the black-legged tick, which is a vector of seven human pathogens, including Lyme disease. Lyme disease is an infectious disease caused by the bacteria carried inside these ticks. Here's a map showing the estimated risk areas of Lyme disease in Ontario last year. It's important to remember that this risk is expected to expand dramatically in the upcoming year, and while the yellow areas indicate hotspots, there's still a probability of encountering black-legged ticks anywhere in the province. One of the first signs of Lyme disease in humans is a bullseye-shaped rash at the site of where you were bitten by the tick. Other early symptoms include fever, headache, and joint pain. But if left untreated for a long period of time, the condition becomes much more serious and symptoms can escalate to arrhythmia, chronic fatigue, and neurological disorders such as facial paralysis. If your pet happens to be bitten by a black-legged tick carrying Lyme disease causing bacteria, symptoms include fever, loss of appetite, lameness or paralysis, swelling of the joints, and decreased activity. But keep in mind that unlike humans, pets infected with Lyme disease may not show any signs or symptoms until two to five months down the road, which is why it's so important to see a veterinarian upon finding a tick on their body. Ticks have various mouth parts which they use to anchor themselves on their host, pierce their skin, and then extract blood. The serrated edges on the hypostome prevent the tick from sliding out, which is what makes extraction so difficult. To properly extract a tick from yourself or your pet, firmly grasp its head with fine tipped tweezers and pull straight upwards. Be very cautious not to break the body because that will unleash all the harmful bacteria from its abdomen straight into your bloodstream if it hasn't already found its way there. Black-legged ticks look like this. Females are red with a black spot on their backs, though when engorged with blood, all species begin to look like a wrinkly lima bean, pun intended. That is why after safe removal, it is very important to put the tick into a sealed container or a plastic bag to get it properly identified by a veterinarian or a physician. That way they can determine the risks and administer proper treatment, which generally includes a course of antibiotics. Lyme disease is a one health problem, meaning it affects both humans, animals, as well as the environment. According to the AVMA and the AAP, if you are diagnosed with Lyme disease, it is also important to consult your veterinarian to assess your pet's level of risk. Similarly, people whose animals have been diagnosed should also consult their physicians regarding their own level of risk based on lifestyle and environmental exposure. Though a preventative vaccine against Lyme disease is available in dogs, unfortunately no such vaccine exists for humans. So, to protect you and your family from ticks this summer, make sure to avoid areas where ticks may be found. They love hanging out in tall grasses, marshes, and wooded areas. 
But if you do plan on venturing out to these areas, make sure you wear bug spray, light clothing that covers your arms and legs, and closed-toed shoes. Also, make sure to keep lawns, gardens, and shrubs on your property well maintained. And most importantly, after a long day outdoors, be sure to check yourself and your animals for ticks. Not only in the summer, but also due to the warmer temperatures in the fall, make sure to clear leaf litter off of your property since you'll be surprised how long ticks will hang around if the temperature is above freezing. Another way to ensure that ticks don't find a way into your homes is by consulting your veterinarian about tick preventative products. They'll be able to guide you regarding which option is best for your pet. Lyme disease is something that affects anybody and everybody, regardless of whether you have a pet. Thousands of cases of Lyme disease have been reported across North America and around the world. But by knowing about Lyme disease and how to prevent it, you can keep all members of your family safe. And thank you for coming to this TikTok.